Wow, look at this hole. It's got a riffle coming into the top, and it's pretty heavy with the water up. The color is absolutely gorgeous with the sun hitting it. It's about five to six feet deep in there, and it extends all the way down to where that point of that rock is sticking out. Wow. We're going to use the same presentation. Maybe throw on a chunk of eggs if that doesn't work. But we're definitely going to try it out. This, this looks like a good spot. And I don't mean that just because it's a hole, but because it has comfortable resting water if these fish are tired from navigating through the higher water. I'm going to make my presentation identical to the way I made it in the other slot. I'm going to put it up here, just in the head, and let it swing on down right through the edge of that water column. You can actually see a little steelhead sitting here right in front of me. You see him? This is a good sign, isn't it? He looks a little on the dark side, but that's proof there's fish in the area. Can you see him? That's right, the big red streak right in the center of the frame. I'm going to bet that's probably an old summer fish though. He's a little bit more red than any of the winter fish I would expect to see this early in the season. Let's put a few casts by him and see if there's maybe some others laying by him that aren't so dark. I'm going to do an underhand dapple here so I don't spook anything. Oh, he just grabbed it. <laughs> Imagine that. That summer fish just went right up there and grabbed that yarn faster than I could even get it by him. <laughs> Apparently I didn't set the hook hard enough though to get that old fish. That's kind of funny though because you know I didn't expect that fish to hit it but he did he just went right up there and grabbed it on the first pass. Well let's get out a little bit further and see what's hiding in that dark green water below it. Maybe there's more of those old summer runs out there. That yarn's going right through there. Oh he grabbed it son of a bitch he grabbed it. I'll be darned. He grabbed it. That's funny. He just, you know, he couldn't resist that yarn. He hit it three or four times. That's crazy. You know, and I thought with this cold water today, these fish wouldn't be aggressive in any way at all, but he sure grabbed that yarn. Let's get him in and let him go quickly. Now, he's probably an old hatchery summer fish, but he's not going to be... Something we're going to want to take home for dinner. monster trophy here, but he grabbed that yarn a couple of times. Now this is an older summer run steelhead. We're going to let him go. Okay, go on. Well, that was fun. It's always neat when you can see him take that yarn more than once. Now let's look for a nice bright winter fish. Same presentation as before, right into the edge of the seam. Two number four split shot and a downstream swing into the water that to me looks the most promising. <laughs> 